Hello, my name is Dinesh and today we are going to talk about IPsec over DMVPN. So let's get started. Configuring IPsec over DMVPN follows the same logic of configuring IPsec over GRE. So only the thing we need to do is stick crypto profile to the tunnel and we can make our tunnel secure because DMVPN is a point to multi point GRE tunnels. So need to understand the technology which can combine like multi point GRE tunnel, NHSRP protocol, IPsec profile and routing. So we call the combination of all these is a DMVPN. Even you can exclude IPsec profile is not always necessary but until you make your tunnel secure our network is not secure. So always we can say DMVPN is combination of multipoint GRE, NHSRP protocol, IPsec profile and routing. So how do we do that? So there is an order of operation to do that. First we need to define crypto process. Then second the resolution, NHSRP resolution and third routing. So before going further we must have the connectivity between hub and spokes. Once the connectivity is there, then we can create tunnel over there. We can configure routing in the tunnel. Then we can configure crypto process. But once once the data process happens between two devices, first crypto process must be configured properly. Otherwise, we are not going to form neighborship with DMVPN, uh, all the all the spokes. So all the devices in DMVPN first they they have negotiation uh, between each other and what type of security parameters they use. So depends on depends on that they decide whether to bring the tunnel up or keep the tunnel down. So IP IPsec takes place first. If IPsec is not correctly configured, then spokes will never register the hub. That's the one thing we, we always need to take care about that. So in the troubleshooting point of view, if you want to troubleshoot, so the best way I do is I just remove IPsec profile from tunnel. Then I I just verify the NHSRP protocol or the neighborship with NHSRP. Then I verify the routing because the troubleshooting of NHSRP and routing we can identify after the IPsec. So once IPsec is there and if we are not aware about that, this is because of IPsec or this is because of NHSRP, then we have to take care about and think about that. So some configuration steps we are going to follow here. Step one, I'll configure Isaac M policy. Step two, configuring IPsec phase two. We'll configure IPsec phase two. And third, we will apply the profile to the interface, the tunnel interface. So let's start and configure this. Go to hub and we need to define these commands. First command crypto Isaac M policy, policy number. Encryption I am using 3DS, hash value MD5. Authentication I am going to use pre shared authentication and group 15. That's it on hub. Go to red router and do the same thing there and I apply all the same command Isaac M policy 100 encryption 3ds hash md5 authentication pre shared and group 15 let's do the same thing on this device so all the devices they must have same type of hash same type of encryption and group value or pre shared key now I'm going to define the pre-shared key as I'm running here DMVPN phase 3 with OSPF. If I want to verify hub, we can see currently we are running this mode. Tunnel mode GRE multipoint. In the spoke also I do have the same configuration. Tunnel mode GRE multipoint 
and I'm running IP OSP of network point to multi point. So there is no issue with that. We can have any type of routing. But one more important thing here, all the spokes, even even in all the DMV pin faces, what happens generally they register with hub when we are running phase one, phase two and phase three. So the tunnel must be established between hub and spoke first. Then there can be on demand tunnel between spokes. Even in IPsec also the same thing. Now I'm going to configure the crypto key because some uh, the hub can have the neighborship with this and this. So I'm not going to have two keys there. I'm going to define if anybody from red or from green they are sending the key or the authentication key. I'm going to match with with the key and want to see that is that working or not. So crypto is a camp key networking info address. I'm not going to define any static IP. I'm going to define the entire network. So anybody from entire network, this hub can accept. Crypto is a camp key networking info and the same here and green why I'm doing this you can statically define peer by peer but I'm doing because I can have a spoke to spoke tunnel and I can have hub to spoke so I'm not going to have separate keys the next step I'm going to do is phase two so this is the phase one go to hub and configure phase two crypto IPsec I am going to set transform set DMVPN encrypt ESP AES 128 ESP SHA um, <coughs> HMAC crypto IPsec profile this is the command I am going to create the profile I am going to set the transform set where actual my data will be encrypted so the same transform set you apply here going to do the same thing on another router red router and green router so apply all the same commands otherwise they will not form any neighborship yeah. go to green router crypto ipsec transform set dmvpn encrypt esp aes 128 crypto ipsec profile hub spokes set transform set dmvpn encrypt that's it so we have configured phase one and phase two so if you verify do show run section crypto it's gonna show this from starting from here to here is phase one and now phase two started from here okay so i applied phase one and phase two configuration on hub and spoke Let's apply this to tunnel because as we know we already configured tunnel and tunnel is up but once I apply tunnel protection IPsec profile and the profile name is hub spokes this is the profile we created and we are applying this to this interface and now some issues started coming if we verify show dmvpn we can see here 2002 192.168.1.2 state ike and with 3 is up but should go down if we say clear dmvpn neighbor or peer i think <laughs> okay session i am gonna clear or uh, so peer what peer you want any peer IP you can give I can say clear session all the session I'm gonna clear and I say show IP and HSRP and we can see resolution did not occur and show DMVPN and we can see now tunnel is down no neighborship because spokes they don't have the configuration on interface let's go to red device and apply this configuration to tunnel interface go to green and apply on green as well a 
okay now after some time we can verify tunnel must come up and they must negotiate automatically because nhsrp is working let me verify and we can see both the spokes they came up go to red router and verify show dmvpn and we see here these are actually dynamic tunnel but down this actually is up let me clear clear dmvpn sessions and uh, on this device as well clear dmvpn sessions now we can verify we have neighborship only with one show dmvpn ah, show dmvpn enter so there is one neighborship with hub but once we initiate traffic for another spoke we will have on demand tunnel here now if i verify show crypto isaac m so or ip sec sa so i just am face one i can see that there is only one active connection which is for this public ip this is my hub and two are actually deleted so we are not uh, going to care about those let me now say show crypto ip sec and sa what type of traffic is encrypted in this so local these are i think old one here we can take care about this remote identity here identified my 200001 neighbor this is the subnet mask and 47 is representing our gre tunnel let me try now to ping 1.1.1.1 which is the ip of hub and it's a pinging an actual crypto packet encapsulated packet 16 i can see previously there were 10 packets now total packets 16 let me try to ping now next neighbor i can say ping 2.2.2. Dot, 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 2.2 which is my red routers interface and we can see the neighborship is also up and because of neighborship we can ping let me verify show dm vpn this time and we see here traffic is going via hub actually traffic is not going via it's not going directly traffic is going via hub let me give one more time ping command and let's say show ip sec show crypto isa kemsa and we formed one another tunnel with three as well go to red router and see there there should be another tunnel so there is one neighbor dmvpn neighbor dynamically it came up because we sent packet from green to red and we see the show dmvpn and there is a direct tunnel between green router and spoke router there is a direct tunnel between again red router to green router and direct tunnel to hub so forming tunnel automatically because we have phase 3 running here show crypto isaac m sa and see the the one tunnel automatically came up on demand tunnel for this destination if i verify show crypto isa ip sec sha then we can see there traffic is for 2002 2003 so local is this destination is this what we want if i ping from right now packet encapsulated 0 decapsulated 5 because we sent ping from green router this time i say ping 
3 dot 3 dot 3 dot 3 and let's verify again packet is getting encrypted or not and uh, we can see here local identity is our 2 and uh, let me verify one more time ping and here we can see so one time it was going to hub next time directly is going to red to green then we can see packet encapsulated total encapsulated 5 decapsulated 16 and we can see our packets are getting encapsulated and decapsulated between spokes and hub so all the spokes they automatically make dynamic tunnel they automatically make on demand IPsec encryption and decryption here so this is what we can configure in phase 3 so this configuration is same for all the phases phase 1 and phase 2 and phase 3 I hope it has been informative for you thank you and bye bye